Welcome to this Celtic Cross reading uh, with a question that is uh, not un, n non disclosed or undisclosed question. And we're using the Alchemical Tarot deck here. So, our first card is the Queen of um, Coins, the Queen of uh, Earth. This represents the question. The question is about your fine is going to be something about your finances you know where you live the work you do the uh the you know this is a queen so you know it can be like a a real person in this case i, I believe it, it probably represents you um it doesn't have to be female but you know it would be those queen-like qualities of, of earth uh, so anyway, it, perhaps a student or a um, an employee, you know. Now we move to our second card. Our second card is the Hierophant or the Bishop. Um, this guy re always represents society, the laws of society. He can represent the church. He can represent a priest or a bishop, perhaps. But, you know, this is like some kind of doctrine or some kind of... Um, written law or that, that you're you know being asked or expected to um follow and so that that's what is uh in, you're in uh, that's what is in or blocking you or that is what is um you know the main obstacle to your to your in your question and we'll move to our third card here which is the um it's the eight of coins and the eight of coins this is the obvious part of the question the question that is most um you know, easy for for you to understand, and that is that the, that you're being asked to do something, and it's going to, um, you know, it's going to take work. It's going to you know, require some effort by you. It it may be something that you think is impractical, or you know, unnecessary, you know, excessive, or you know, busy work of some type. Um, but it's something that you're being asked to do that that, that you may not be all that um, much on board for. Now we'll move to our fourth card here, which is um, the Page of Coins, the Lady of Coins. Again, we've got the Queen, now we've got the Page. Well, the Page is, um, this is in the fourth card, this is the part of the question that you're not going to be that uh, familiar with or that easy to uh, to understand. This this card is like a, is a lady, it it's, means like, you know, being a, being a, a, a well-developed, um, you know, proper young lady kind of thing. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a lady or a woman, but um, in this case, I'm going to match it to the gender of the queen just because it would make less confusing if I did it like that. So, um, also, also, she looks like to me like Ophelia um, picking flowers. So that could mean that, you know, this, uh, the, the part of the question that you don't understand is that, you know, you're going to be better by this in the end. You know, you're going to get to do the things that you want to do. You may not at, at the present time be doing exactly what you want, but it's going to um, have um, benefits to you. It's going to be to your advantage. You're going to, um, you're going to flower from it, something along those lines. And it, it, I also see this as a bridesmaid. So it, it, this could be a question of marriage because we've got this guy representing like the church or religion. This is a woman, and you know it looks like she's maybe holding a, a child, and you know, and and maybe a job in the other, something of that nature. And so now we move down here, and this is like a bridesmaid or um, you know somebody that is is uh, is is at the beginning of a of a of a journey of some type. Now we move to our fifth card, which is the um, it's a glare on it, which is unfortunate. This is the um, ten of wands. So this card is the past, and it's a it represents a phoenix rising from the from the flames. It's it's kind of a mini judgment card. Uh, you know, it means that in, in the past this was something that you could stand to do without um, feeling the heat, or that this is a you had a chance and you've had a chance in the past to. For rebirth and that's what's brought you to this place you've had like a an opportunity to start over or have a new beginning perhaps it's uh, a divorce if we were going to stick to the marriage um, 
theme if this was a question if this was a question of being of going into marriage something like that this perhaps would be you know a divorce that was finalized and you now have a chance to start over but it's an opportunity I look I would read this as an opportunity to start over or in the past you had the strength you know to uh, to, to to handle the uh, the pressure now we move to our sixth card this represents the future uh, this is the Sun uh, in this deck, it kind of looks like a another lover, like a, a lovers on the on a on a higher level. You know, it could be a marriage. It's called I think it's did I say that it's called the major conjunction. Well, that's what the the card is called. And um, you know, it, it represents again. It represents enlightenment. This represents maybe making yourself better or becoming a lady. This represents enlightenment. You know, uh, seeing and seeing the way. It can also represent, you know, it could represent a wedding that you're looking forward to in the in the future. But, you know, it's something that is um, is going to um, make you better or give you um, something that you, that you don't currently have. Now we move to our seventh card. Our seventh card is the where you are. And we have another card that looks a lot like this, the sun here. This is uh, the Two of Cups, or the Two of Vessels, I guess is probably what it's called in this deck. And, you know, it, this is where you are. You are in favor of some kind of, um, you know, pairing or some kind of collaboration or, you know, uh, uh, getting married, uh, you know, becoming, um, you know, two becoming one kind of thing. But this is a card of couples. This is a couples card. And because it's in a, it's water, you know, it has to do with relationships. So that would just... Um, tend to um, magnify or complement what we already see here with this card and if we st this would make a lot of sense if it was a, if it was a question of, of marriage or um, you know something something the, way, the reason I want to stick to marriage is because of the hierophant representing the you know the church the rules uh, maybe it's a need to get married because uh, some reason it's just how you have some reason to need to get married um, so now we're going to move to our eighth card here. What we have, the eighth card is the Five of Swords. This is the environment around you. Um, this is a blacksmith fixing a broken sword. I don't know if you can really see that. But see, there's a, a broken sword and he's holding on to it with a pair of pliers. And there's the hilt on the ground there by his feet. So this is like fixing something that is broken or righting a wrong. Um... But it's also you know, giving something a second chance or a second life, you know, a second chance at life. So again, this might fall into uh, the same uh, with the uh, the rebirth of the Ten of Wands. That uh, this is the environment around you. Mm, you know, maybe there's going to be uh, some kind of a sweat involved. Again, another card that looks a lot like this one with the work in, on it. But this is the environment around you. You know, it's it's something that needs to be done. It's something that needs to be. Um, Corrected. It has another glare. Rats. Okay, so our, our ninth card here is Hopes and Fears. And this is the Emperor. The, uh, the, if we stick with the marriage, if we stick with the marriage thing, this would then make you a, a father figure, a parent, you know, the masculine uh, parent. You know, it can also be, this is called the Red King. This is looks like Zeus to me. But, you know, this is an authority figure of some kind. So your hopes are, you know, that, that you'll be maybe a good parent or a uh, good husband or a good, um, you know, provider. And your fears are, you know, that, that you, may, that you uh, may not be a good parent or you may not be a good provider. Or that, um, you know, in some way you're going to um, be punished for, for what you're doing. And in our 10th card, I've got less than a minute here. We've, our 10th card is the um, Seven of Wands. So it's our second wand. This one is, is conflict. It's, it's like two dogs fighting. And what it says is that you're going to be conflicted about this for the, uh, for the upcoming you know, time. That this is not something that you can easily resolve. That uh, your feelings are, are probably not going to change that much after this reading. And that you will continue to, uh, to be conflicted with yourself about this question. Thanks for watching.